back to Sea Time and Harvest. Welcome back to Sea Time and Harvest. Today again, we're out in the garden. We did plant some squash here. Um, well, first we planted everywhere else. We used up all our planting space because this area, about in the summer of last year, we load up the entire area with um, wood chips. And so we ran out of space. We realized that we're in a crisis and we need to um, be planting more food. So we decided to give it a try, planting the squash in this wood chips. Now we put down about six inch six to eight inches of wood chips and it is too much to for the plants because the, new, the wood chips needs nitrogen to break down yeah. and the plants also need nitrogen and so a few weeks ago we realized that the squash were yellowing and i came out and i fed them but i can tell that some of them are growing but some of them still show sign of yellowing and these over here are not doing so well even the corn they're not as vibrant as they should be and so we're gonna build a raised bed right along this area we're gonna bring you in when we build that and we're gonna separate the squash because now we have two in a hole we didn't know which one we're gonna be do well i realize all of them are doing well so we're gonna separate the squash as we have two plants um, per hole and uh, we already fed them so when we separate these then the ones that are left should do good with the nitrogen that's available so come on in and we're going to show you how to uh, transplant the squash and how to build a raised bed to put these so, um, lows and we picked up some dirt we have organic topsoil we have mushroom compost peat moss we have um, potting soil and we have more um, um, what do you call it compost now when we go to Lowe's one thing you want to make sure is that you get open bags even though they're a little bit messy if you get open bags you get it like half off we got some wood it's gonna be two by ten by the eight foot um, they didn't have the ten foot so we got the eight foot for the length and then the width we're gonna have the three feet so it's gonna be an eight by three bed and um, in previous years we've used nails to um, corner our, our bed put our beds together but I realize now the, the nails are falling out so we have to be in repair with a lot of our raised beds so this year what we decide to do we're going to use the corner brackets and screws and we're going to screw these in um, the ones that we've done recently they hold up together pretty good and um, the screws are a lot easier to work with than the nails so that's what we're going to use to hold our bed together and uh, we'll show you how we get that done
the bed is done, all set up, and uh, we loaded it with dirt. We use um, two bags of topsoil, five bags compost, three bags potting soil, and uh, half a bag of uh, peat moss. And we're just going to go in and slightly turn the soil to prepare for transplant. And uh, we're going to do the same thing with the other bed. So for the eight, eight by three, you need 10, 10 and a half bags of soil. Hi. When you're transplanting, you want to make sure that you do it in the evening when it is cool and the plant has time to acclimate to the new environment. Also, you want to make sure that you have the soil moist as to cause at least the least amount of agitation to the plant. All right, here Sharice is in the new raised bed about to make her first transplant. And the squash is ready to grow in a more nurturing environment. Alright, so everything has been planted out. The corn, we had squash, and we have some peppers, and I can tell that they're looking green already. The squash are standing up, the peppers are looking very healthy. So we're off to a productive garden by God's grace. Thank you for joining us to Seed Time and Harvest. Until next time, happy planting. Bye! Say bye-bye!